Good evening and welcome back. Well, it certainly wasn't a warm one today and it's actually going to get worse before it gets better. Today, temperatures were about 5 to 10 degrees below norms for this time of year. 45 for the high temperature in Terre Haute, 43 in Robinson. All the rest of us, well, we were lucky to make it to 40. Here in Charleston, currently 37, we've got cloud cover. That's going to mess with sunset, which officially tonight happens at 554. We have a feels like temperature of 29 degrees, and that's because of those nasty northwest winds bringing down the cold at about 12 miles per hour. Futurecast for tonight, basically what's happening in our skies, one cloud system is moving out only to be replaced by eventually another system of clouds. Overnight tonight, a low of 30 degrees, clouds out and clouds in. Who wrote that? Wind gusts of up to 20 miles an hour tonight, mainly from the north and also again the northwest. Now, looking at our satellite once again, not only are we concerned about the possibility of some light lake effect snow returning, but the bigger picture says there's a system of low pressure that's out in Colorado. It's called a Colorado low. It actually may be a chain of lows moving directly in our direction and it's going to take a little bit of time to get here but it will be felt on Saturday. The good news is unlike the elevated areas we showed you in Colorado just a moment ago where there are some signs of snow, our temperatures here when the system begins to enter the area will be in the mid 40s, 47 for the afternoon high on Saturday. Let's take a look at what happens with this system moving into our area late in the afternoon and here we see some possibilities of precipitation and when you see yellow that means uh, a bit more of actual falling of something mainly it'll be rain in fact it'll all be rain at first but there are some possibilities of some icing some people refer to it as a wintry mix it could make for messy road conditions late in the evening on saturday tomorrow into the early morning hours and so you'll have to be weather aware and stay tuned for the latest updates. Now we don't think this is going to amount to a blanketing of snow or inches of precipitation snow wise. We do believe however there is the possibility of icing including black ice on the roadways. so please exercise caution. Mainly though we're talking about a rain event and the latest projections as of right now show we could see up to half an inch of rainfall in the area by the time this system moves through uh, fully by Sunday morning. So we have our temperatures at 47 for the high on Saturday, 38 for the high temperature only on Sunday, and then with northwest winds continuing to blow 35 only on Monday. Talking about that time change, let's look at that sunset. That's uh, not uh, a projected sunset, but that is the time it is correct. There's 656, that's uh, about an hour later than you're expecting tonight, for example. Now here's our seven day outlook and note, first of all, the uh, temperature extremes for this time of year, the normals, 53 for the high, 32 for the low, and across the board on the highs, we are going to be below normal until we get to midweek next week. A high on Wednesday of 51, and then a little bit of rain moves in, but before then, an afternoon high of 60. But look at your weekend temperatures, especially Sunday, 38 degrees. It looks like a good day to be indoors watching basketball. And at the end of the seven day period, no pot of gold, high temperature only of 40. One uh, quick final note, if you're uh, taking off to Florida for spring break, there's a cold front coming there on Wednesday. They'll be lucky to see 70 at the middle of next week.